Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cover page in Word. So let's open a new document and all we're going to do first is insert a series of circles. So go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down, select the circle and then click and hold down your shift key to create a circle. If you don't, you will create an oval. So let's just create a circle. Now this circle is inserted with a border line, which is very thin and a fill color. Now we won't worry too much about the fill color, but because I don't want any border lines on any of my circles, I'm going to make sure it's selected. Go to shape fill, go to this icon here, click on the drop down and select no outline. Then all I'm going to do is copy and paste this and the easiest way to do it is to select it, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag and then we're going to do that twice and then we're just going to move all of these circles to one side so we can create our design. So the first circle we're just going to pull out to about here. We will be adjusting it to change the color, make sure it's selected, go to shape fill. You can select from these colors here, or you can go to more fill colors and you can select from your color wheel. Just move this little cursor or icon around this circle and you'll see the color of your choice is in this square here. But again, you can move this slider to darken or brighten that color. And then just click okay once you're happy with your color. So here I'm just going to use the colors from this area. I'm going to choose a light gray. Then I'm going to move another circle down here. Now when you adjust the size of your circles, make sure you click and hold the shift key down. Otherwise you will create an oval instead of a full circle. And I'm going to create a bigger circle here. Let's move that over. This one I'm going to change to white. Then I'm going to put another circle inside. Now you can see what's happened here. It's gone behind this white circle. That happens, select it, make sure you're on shape format and go over to either one of these two, depending on whether you want to send it forwards or backwards. I want to send it forwards, so click on the drop down and select bring to front. And then as you can see, that's been brought forward. So I'm just going to extend that out, bring over another circle change this one to white. It's already on white here, so you can just click. Again, it's gone behind a circle. So we're just again going to click on the drop down and select bring to front. There we go. I'm going to align these all up at the end, but before that, I'm just going to get everything into place. This circle here, I'm going to duplicate again, holding down the Alt or Option key. Deselect, reselect one of them. Just stretch out that circle. I'm going to create one more circle for the top corner. This circle I'm going to change to white. Again it's gone behind so bring forwards, bring to front. There we go. Now we've got all our basic shapes in. I've got to add some text and also an image. I'm just going to change some of the colors. So I'm going to select this circle here which has got a little bit of color in. I'm going to go to Shape Format and over to Format Pane. This is going to bring up another set of menus. I'm going to go to the bucket icon, click on Fill, go to Gradient. And here we've got this gradient slider with these little boxes on. To change the color of these boxes, make sure it's selected. Go to Color, click on any color of your choice. And again, select this one, click on any color of your choice. And then you can move the slider and you can see over here on this circle how it changes. I can move this slider and change that gradient. To change the direction of your gradient, just click on direction. There is a, a bigger box here, but you just can't see it. it's blocked out of my screen. And once you're happy, you can go and change another one. I'm going to change this circle here. Again, go to gradient and I'm going to select the same colors. I'm just going to move that gradient over a little bit. You can add more if you want to. So just click on add and you can add another slider. You can add another color. Let's go extreme, go to red and you can see how that affects that gradient. If you want to take them off, just click on it and click the minus sign. For this color here, I'm just going to go to solid fill and select a dark gray and keep that one 
as that color there. So I'm just going to make this circle here a bit bigger. Again, holding down my shift key to make sure it's the correct size. Okay, so now I'm going to insert an image. So go to insert, picture, I'm going to go to stock images, but you can use your own image from your files. Here at the top, I'm going to type in skyline and just select an image of choice. I'll select this one and click insert. Now, once again, it's gone behind, but what I need to do with any picture that's inserted into Word is change the wrapping so I can move it. So select it, go to picture format, go to wrap text and select in front of text. If I want this picture to be a circle, I need to convert it to a perfectly square image. If not, it will convert it to an oval shape. So select it, go to crop, select aspect ratio and select square one to one. I can move the photograph left and right to select the part of the image that I want. Press enter and now go to crop, crop to shape and select circle and then we can move this wherever we want. I'm just going to make that a little smaller. So now we've got all the circles in, we can just align everything. So you can see not everything is aligned here or here, and we can do that easily by selecting each one of these, holding down your command or control key, just click on each circle, go to align, click on the drop down, select align to center, click on the drop down and select align to middle. They're now perfectly lined up, so you can go to group and select group. And now all of that is one group. If you want to make changes, just go to group and select ungroup. For this one here, I'm going to select this circle, hold down my command or control key and set, select the outer circle. Again, shape format, align, align to middle, and again, align to center or the other way around. I'm going to group this together and then I'm going to select bring forwards. And in fact, I'm just going to click, there you go, until you can see it go in front of this white circle, but behind this gray one. I'm going to add a shadow to this larger circle, select it, go to shape format, go to this icon here, click on shadow, along to presets, click on the drop down, and you can select any preset you like. I'm going to go to the one that's in the far right corner, which unfortunately you can't see, but if you go to the far right corner, it's the shadow that goes to the bottom. Then I'm going to increase the blur and the distance. You can see it appearing at the bottom here. Then I'm going to click on this white circle here and do the same, but this time the shadow is in the top right. Again, the blur I can change here and the distance and just bring down the transparency a little. So now onto the text, go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out a text box and then enter in your text. Now every text box comes with this outer border and a white background. We're going to get rid of both of those. So select it and go to shape format. Click on the drop down, no outline. Click on the drop down, no fill. Go to home. I'm going to change my font to Aroni. And then using the increase font size tool, I'm just going to increase that font until I'm happy. I'm going to align to the right and then just move this down to here. I'm going to change the font size to this one. And then just below report, I'm going to press the return key. Just pull this down. I'm then going to change the font size to 12 and the font to Helivector. And then just put in a tagline. And now you're free to move this wherever you like. If it gets a bit clunky, just select it and hold down your Alt key and it will smooth out that movement for you. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this by holding down that Alt or Option key. Click inside and just change the text to the date. Then I'm going to increase that font size. In fact, if you see your cursor inside the box, deselect it, reselect it, and then you can make 
the various changes. I'm just going to change this to heli vector and then we can move this one into the center of our circle. Again, we can move it holding down that Alt or Option key to place it. And then in the top corner here, we can enter in our logo. So go to Insert, Picture, Picture from File. Click on your logo, click Insert. Now often a picture will insert and you won't be able to see it. So keep it selected. Go to Wrap Text and select In Front of Text and your logo will appear and then we can just pop that wherever we like in our cover page. Perfect, so once you're happy, you can save this as a Word document or you can save it as a PDF or you can save it as a template. So go to File, then you can go to Save As. This will allow you on the drop down here to save as a PDF and click Save or go to File, Save as Template. Make sure it's in your Templates file and make sure it says Microsoft Word Templates. That will allow you to save it into your software so each time you open Word and go to your templates, this will appear. You can make any adjustments or changes to it, but it will save it as a separate document so your template's always safe. And then just click Save. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.